Hey, what's going on, everybody? Switchfoot Clan here, and welcome to Thought Thursday. And I have a great topic for you guys. And just to start off, I just want to say thank you for being so supportive and sending in questions all the time. It is great. And um, if you would please just now to send me a question for Thought Thursday, or if you have a Subscriber Sunday smaller question to ask, please do so now. But let's get into the person that sent this to us. Sorry. I forgot the name of the person that asked me the question. I will put your name in the description. But his question was, "What do you think of boosters and away from control and away from controller players?" So this is a great topic, and thank you for asking it. Okay, let's start off with boosters. This is my philosophy on boosters. Um, you know, I don't care what you're doing, boosting has its limitations and this is what I think is wrong and right and then you guys can tell me what you think but let me start off it, you can boost but you cannot have high kill streaks on or affect the team any of the teams in any other way so let me give you an example if you're playing kill confirmed don't pick up the tags if you're going to if you're going to boost you don't pick up the tags don't throw out high kill streaks and don't capture and uncapture, capture and uncapture bases such as um, hard point. So that's what I think. Um, I don't like that. That's just that's cheating. But you're also affecting other teammates and other people's stuff. So don't mess with that stuff. I think that's wrong. It, you can boost all you want. I don't care. You know, people want to get their diamond camos. People want to need to, they want to get those cool titles and emblems. I understand that people do that. I am not gonna say I haven't done it. I've tried to do it before. It's it's kind of frustrating to do to even cheat. It'd probably be easier to do most of them on your own. You just have to be patient. But that's what I think. Now away from controller players. Now you guys, you guys are my bros. When you guys are on the other team, go at it. You can all be away from controller players if you're playing against me. I don't care. I'm going to get my headshots. I'm going to get my kill streak. You might as well just sit in there and, you know, destroy your KD. That's fine. But if you're on my team, no, not going to happen. You're getting kicked. So I'm going to report you for being an away from controller player. That's just my thought. So these, these are kind of, you know, depends on who's on who. You know, if my team's boosting and my team's the ones that are getting the swarms, hey, that's cool. But if I'm being swarmed on, this isn't cool. So, it's just kind of hard to d differentiate what I think. But boosting is boosting. You know, people do it. You get over it. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to get upset at somebody for boosting. It's not going to hurt my feelings. But just keep it to you and your partner. And don't bring in more than one person to boost on because then you're just taking up slots for other teammates that we might need to actually help us win. And by the way, this is a PDW Lodestar gameplay on the map hijacked. Really proud of it. I got this myself. But anyway, um, yeah, so and away from controller players, it's the same kind of thing. I don't care if they're on the other team, but if they're on my team, uh, no. So that's what I think. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. And have a great, wonderful rest of the day. I hope you've been enjoying my videos. I've been having a lot of fun making commentaries. And I hope you guys stick around for the holiday season. It should be a good one. And I am just tearing it up with this load star. Goodness gracious. Woo. This was, these load stars on Hijacked are great. But thank you guys for watching.